Kaleidoscope. And a good Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Channel. Will Anna along with Rick Griffin. We've got a lot of weather to talk about today, including some icy weather right now in New England, heavy snow around Caribou. We'll talk about what happened yesterday in Florida, some big time rains in the southern Georgia. And of course, it's Super Bowl weekend. What's the weather going to be like out in San Diego? Cold and rainy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's going to be sunny, uh, typical San Diego weather. It's going to be sunny, a little morning fog, afternoon uh, fair weather, and about 70 degrees or so. Not bad for a game. Not bad at all. You know, speaking of uh, heavy rain, uh, the flood warnings continue for you folks in Middlesex and New London County in Connecticut because you had three to four inches of rain yesterday and last night, and we understand that. Uh, Street flooding is still widespread. Let's take a look at what's going on and find out if more rain's headed for uh, those two counties in Connecticut. And the answer to that is, yeah, probably, but nothing like what you had yesterday and last night. Here's the big picture. We've got double barrel low pressure eastern seaboard. One low is moving away. A second system is beginning to take shape right about over the outer banks of North Carolina, and it will uh, intensify quickly, we think, and move northeast as a nor'easter type track, but it will be a fast mover. Uh, but nevertheless, probably will bring additional precipitation to southern New England overnight tonight and uh, through the early morning hours on uh, Sunday, the way we see it, according to the latest uh, computer charts. So here's your map again, two low pressure centers on the front. Behind the front, cooler air, and as you don't see is a strong upper level a uh, pocket of energy in the jet stream winds that's swinging through the south will catch up with this surface low and when it does this surface low will deepen or strengthen quickly it's got the gulf stream waters the warm air over the gulf stream to work with uh, and cooler air behind the front so we're going to be watching this developing scenario as the day unfolds we're going to watch high pressure for those of you in dallas and oklahoma city and it means a lot of sunshine and near 60 degree warmth this afternoon little light snow now. Madison, near Chicago, over lower Michigan, pockets of light snow, but as Will mentioned, heavier snows over northern Maine, around Caribou, Aristook County, Fort Kent in vicinity, to about Moosehead Lake. And there's ice right here. It's freezing rain, as a matter of fact, in Augusta and Lewiston, the place, a uh, couple places that were just hammered by that ice storm a few weeks ago. Fortunately, in this case, it does not look anywhere near as serious as the last time, although uh, conditions will be Outdoor objects will be glazed up again this morning as you do have moisture moving your way. Augusta Lewiston right about in here. And again, you've got freezing rain. It's in the low 20s. So whatever rain is falling, it's freezing instantly on outdoor exposed objects. Rain now at Worcester, 32. So just west of Worcester, freezing rain. Concord, New Hampshire, Nashua in vicinity, moderate freezing rain right here. Uh, we get back into the rain around Providence where it's 50 and it's raining in Boston. The rain is ending now in New York City, 39 degrees in the Big Apple. 31 in Albany, upstate New York, 32 in Rochester, about the same in Pittsburgh and Detroit, 31 and 30 degrees respectively. Dallas, frosty. Oklahoma City and McAllister too, but again, later today, high pressure and at least partly sunny skies will allow a rapid temperature rise. Houston, you'll top out at 60, you're 40 degrees right now. 42 in New Orleans, 60 in Jacksonville, 70 right now in Miami. You're still in the warm, humid air south of the front, only in this case, as compared to 24 hours ago, the atmosphere conditions still humid in South Florida, but not nearly as volatile. Uh, as it was yesterday at this point when we had all those tornadic thunderstorms. Back to the Midwest, light snow, cloudy skies, temperatures range from 1 in Green Bay to 20, actually to 24 in Kansas City and 30 in St. Louis. 40 now in Salt Lake, 40s in Phoenix, 50s in San Diego, headed for 70 this afternoon. Fair weather in the southwest. In the northwest, a series of fronts continue to march on shore. You can see the rain and mountain snow here on Northwest Regional Radar. Stampede Pass will pick up six inches of snow today. Sun Valley up to six inches and an inch or two in Aspen, Colorado in the forecast. Let's get the details now. Here's Will. 
Okay, Rick, once again, we'll begin by looking at midday on this Saturday afternoon. For much of the country, it's not going to be all that bad, especially if you live from, let's say, Chicago, St. Louis, down towards Columbia, Missouri, to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and Dallas. The middle part of the country looking just fine as of right now. It's going to be the East Coast and the West Coast that could be looking at some problems. First of all, taking a look at the East Coast, you're looking at some, uh, maybe some black ice developing right now. Careful this morning, drivers around Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A little bit of freezing uh, or drizzle is coming down there and with this wave below partial beginning to move on its way northward looks like some more rain uh, developing along the coast almost a guarantee right now and looks like you can see by later on this evening could be looking at more precip uh, more precipitation coming right back into Norfolk, uh, Virginia, getting uh, pretty close to Washington, D.C., and we'll see if any of that moisture makes it into central and southern New England by late tonight and by early morning tomorrow. But once again, near the Gulf Coast, it's going to be much colder tomorrow morning with clear skies, light and variable winds, high pressure centered right around Lake Charles by early on this evening, and centered over much of the uh, Mid-South, much of the Gulf Coast, early morning tomorrow yet. And if you live in the Pacific Northwest along the Cascades, you'll be looking at some more snow. Traveling along Interstate 5 could be a little bit sloppy today with the rain coming down. It will become windy, too, with our next front coming on through. There's your best chance of any rainfall near the coast of Washington, Oregon, down towards Arcata, California. Maybe a heavier pocket of rainfall, too, over eastern North Carolina, getting into southeastern Virginia a little bit later on this evening as well. But Southern California, looking fine today, looking fine tomorrow. No problems with the uh, big game tomorrow, the Super Bowl game, which will be outdoors, played outdoors in San Diego, California. Here's a look at our forecast highs for the upcoming day. We'll show you some of the weather conditions. Rainy again around Boston, heavier snow around Caribou, especially this morning, with temperatures that rising into the upper 20s. Midwest looking at some light snowflakes, maybe reaching Minneapolis, St. Paul, still occurring around Chicago, Milwaukee, and Madison right now. Temperatures should be reaching about freezing today, 47 degrees, turning sunny in Atlanta, getting better around Tampa at 71 degrees. The rain will be back early next week. Enjoy this upcoming weekend. There's your rain in the west. Portland, 53, and for Seattle, 50 degrees today with some more rain. More to come in a moment. There are some people who prefer to be left in the dark. But if you prefer the light, you need a Honda generator. They're easy to start, efficient, and quiet. But best of all, they're reliable. Honda. That thing always work. Always. Honda generators. Power when you really need it. 